Today we are back with our Rising Through the Rank series, where we're going to be breaking down gameplay from each division, giving you tips and strategies that will allow you to advance to the next rank. Today we are focusing on that jump from Platinum to Diamond. Platinum seems to be the number one division that people are stuck in right now. So we've got a really good gameplay overall here from Conspiracy. He's currently sitting in Plat 2. He picks up 139 SR this game. And by the way, he is playing with random teammates right here. Real quick, if you do play with random teammates, in the pinned comment, I have a link to join my Discord. I have five different looking for teammate sections in there. So after this video, go ahead and join and you can start to look for teammates there in a consistent squad. Now this jump from Platinum to Diamond, it's tough. I mean, it's it's an 1800 SR jump. You're talking about minus 39 to minus 51 deployment fees. Lobbies start to get sweatier. Teams play closer together and more strategic. So look, this is a tough jump, but I honestly think that most of you are going to be able to get into Diamond over the course of the season. Starting off right here, Minus 45 SR, he's in plat two. And this, what I will say, is not going to fly in diamond, crimson, and iridescent lobbies. This right here, this slow challenge around the corner is not going to fly. We hear the information. We see that he anticipates, like he thinks this enemy's here. You cannot, cannot slow play this. You have to kind of tax sprint, slide cancel around this corner, and try to get out of this guy's crosshairs. Because in the future, this enemy right here is going to challenge you at the same time you're going to challenge him so you cannot slow peek this or you're going to get your camera broken but hey you know what we will absolutely take the kill take the plus five sr now when we talk about platinum to diamond guys understand that one of the biggest things that's going to change is the pace of play so right here after this kill what do we notice look at the mini map right so when we talk about the pace is going to increase decisions have to be a little bit quicker right here what do we notice we see one enemy right here we see one enemy right here i want you to specifically remember this guy we're going to circle back to this enemy here in a second but those decisions have to be quicker you can see he kind of backs off here reloads like you need to push that solo player immediately and look to take your 1v1 fight as a squad, right? As a squad is the important part. Push that solo player, stack him hard, get the SR all the way around. Remember, kills, assists, and squad mate kills, or you're all going to gain SR. So we want to make sure that we are getting those as much as possible. If you are subscribed, by the way, which on my last video, perfect split, 50% subscribe, 50% not subscribe. By the way, where's he getting shot from? Remember the enemy I told you up the hill? Remember this guy right here that I told you to remember? That's who he's getting shot by at the moment. So we really got to keep that information in mind and remember information throughout the game. Last video, 50-50 split. If you are looking to get better, take a second, make sure you are subscribed down below. Now, the overall gameplay strategy is going to stay the same. Get load out early, make sure that you make it to end game. Those two things will never change no matter what division you're in. Where we start to, you know, kind of have to push a little bit more is going to be that mid game. That mid game is when we need to start to take control, start to get a few more kills. And that few more kills in the middle, in the second and third circle, is going to be the difference between a, you know, 70 SR game and 120 SR game, right? That middle area right there is where we want to start to kind of pick up the pace just a little bit. You don't have to go too crazy, but start to push a little bit based on information and put yourself in the action a little bit more. And we are going to see that from this squad. Now, we're running the MTZ 762. We're running the HRM 9 right here. And we see the smoke grenade go down. Use your smokes, especially to revive guys in this moment right here. I want you to think about the enemy shoes. If you are this team that's up here, right, somewhere in this direction, there is a moment of hesitation where you don't know what to do. Do you push or do you hold? And there's that little moment of hesitation, and that gives this squad right here plenty of time to get the revive off and kind of regain a little bit. So just got to be very aware of using your smoke grenades as much as possible. Also notice that they're in a really bad spot plate-wise right now. At this moment, I probably would be really tempted to buy plates. Guys, make sure you're smart about that. Trusting high alert, really good job right here trusting. And just like this, in this moment, you have to recognize that you're in a third-party situation. You are getting shot from multiple different angles right here. You've got the team to your right. Right side you've got a team to your left side and you're in a pretty bad position this is the only problem with dropping in this connie outpost i've seen a lot of people drop here the problem is you get can easily get trapped low ground and there's not a whole lot you can do besides hope that you can make it up which they are actually going to be able to do they're still aware of the people to their right side you're going to see him kind of check around this corner right here and have some trigger discipline they hear him up top 
He's going to peek around this corner here a second and kind of just hold. He's not going to fire because keep in mind, his gun is unsilent. So if he shoots, he's going to be on radar. Really good job there not pulling the trigger, especially because he wasn't going to be able to get that down. Now, their number one priority here has to be fine plates. Like, not only do they not have plates, but, like, they are down to very low health as a squad. It would be very easy for a team to roll up on them and just absolutely take them out in an instant, at which point we lose that 37 SR. Is it bad to lose 37 SR? No. Do we want to lose 37 SR? Also, no. And right here in this moment, we've got $3,600, which means we have enough for an armor box. So this should be a situation where we start working this by and getting over this way, even ignoring this guy right here. Right. Remember this. Remember this information, but go get plates first and then you can start to work into keep if you would like to, which is exactly what they're going to do. They're going to go ahead and work their way this way and they're going to buy an armor box, which is exactly what you should do. Those little gameplay strategy things will make a huge difference for you. Just recognizing cash flow, noticing when you have enough for a UAV for a portable radar, you know, making sure that you're getting those munitions boxes off the ground or, the, you know, so you have smokes, making sure you're noticing those armor boxes so that you're constantly full plates. And right here, we're in a we're in the driver's seat. You know, we're in a good spot early here. Still first circle. Not much has happened, but we've got a ton of momentum here. We've got plates. We've got ammo. I would not throw the muni box. Actually, you know what? I would throw the muni box down here because I want the smokes. I definitely want the smokes. The only thing we're missing here is going to be information, which, by the way, what do we have enough for? Portable radar, right? So, yeah, I would be really tempted to buy a portable radar right here. Or you could also grab this bounty contract, right? One of those two things would be a great way to get information in this moment and and what we are going to see and what i think tends to happen with a lot of platinum players platinum players are interesting sometimes your execution's good sometimes your execution's bad sometimes you're going to steamroll a team sometimes you're going to get steamrolled a lot of times what happens though is you're never acting on concrete information you are reacting to situations and when you're reacting to situations you don't have control of that fight you don't have the ability to get the first down you're kind of waiting for things to happen to you so right here we're in tower building not 100 percent sure where anybody is now i like the fact that we're playing high ground right high ground allows us to see a ton and i want you to specifically remember this kind of high ground versus low ground comparison because we're going to focus on this over the next minute and a half you know, good shots right there. And what do I love most about this? Again, if you are subscribed, I literally say this in every single video. I love this. This is a great way to communicate. Live pings show you where the enemy is moving to. We clearly see him moving this way, but also tells our teammates exactly where he is and exactly the communication of where this enemy, the direction he's in. So you should really be live pinging. Get a lot of questions from controller players. Joe, what is it? What is your ping button, you know, uh, map to on your controller? I have it as up on the D-pad. You're giving up aim assist for a half second here to be able to go ahead, get that live ping, track him, and better communicate with your teammates. Good little quick revive right there. And this play, I absolutely hate. I don't know what this play was for. Now, it ends up working out for him, but it's kind of a waste of a smoke. Like, you, nothing really happened here that that changed the course of this fight like you basically kind of gave him cover to push up but it, it's not really going to change the outcome of the fight here it ends up paying off because this guy has a lot of courage right here and it's like oh i'm just going to push this because i have smoke and i'm going to push a full team of three big mistake on that part which is part of platinum lobbies you make mistakes enemies make mistakes notice right here biggest thing got minus or uh, sorry plus five sr he gets the assist guys when we are playing as a squad kills and assists don't matter all that matters is that we are getting one of the two we want to be assisting kills Kills. We want to be playing as a squad, team shotting, so that we are maximizing that SR. If we don't, we only lose a little bit of SR. It's only minus two SR difference if our teammate gets the solo kill. But we want to try to be getting as many assists as possible in team shotting. Notice right here, he's going to pick up a little bit of SR from Wave Hall getting the kill by squad mate. And we're at minus 26. There's kind of two key moments of this game here when it comes to SR, where you're going to see his SR jump a ton. Very common in platinum lobbies, where we're going to go from negative to a good amount positive, and then we're going to go from a good amount positive to like a really good game overall. Now, from this moment right here, 
what do you notice? We don't have a ton of information. We just got PA'd. We have $9,000, so we have enough to go to a buy station here. We have smokes that we can smoke this buy station if we want to. We can potentially get here. We could always rotate back to this buy station, right? Slow down to speed up. Slow down a little bit. Go back to this buy station. Get a UAV. And then from there, you can speed up your decision making and confidently push a team. I would not. I mean, this actually isn't a bad buy station right here. I like this buy station a lot. It's just kind of in a weird position from where they are now. But I think overall, it's got a good amount of cover. And as long as you have smokes to get out of it, you can easily, easily go push that buy station. But we've got plenty of cash. And remember what I said, that that comparison between low ground and high ground. So we're going to see Conspiracy here play a lot of low ground, right? He's just kind of chilling down low. Now, part of this is because his teammate over here, who he does have comms with, is kind of talking about the placement SR component. The like, hey, I need to get top five to gain SR. So they are playing a little bit slower, but you kind of see right here, like he can't even see anything. There's nothing that he's going to be able to see here. What we end up noticing, though, is notice we are at a minute and 23 seconds. Look how long he stays down here. Right here is going to be a minute 16. Right here is going to be a minute 11. We can see a little bit, right? But he's going to go right back down. Right here is going to be a minute and one second. Right here is going to be 56. We're still downstairs. 51. We're still downstairs. Now, all of a sudden, we're at 45. Nope. Still downstairs. 35. Still downstairs. 30. Still downstairs. 25. Okay. Now we're working our way up. So we spent one minute looking at a crevice literally we just looked back and forth at a crevice maybe we saw some angles but we didn't do much with it now watch the difference here when he pushes up and plays high ground watch the difference of what happens now all of a sudden we can start to see people right we've got much better angles here we've got plenty of cover here which is the most important thing but we've got the angle to shoot on these teams we are at minus 26 sr at the moment and by the way when it comes to placement and and that next kind of kill assist jump that's going to be at top eight Actually, placement's top 12, and then the kills assist change where you get more for it is going to be top 8. But so far, I mean, 14 teams left. Not many people are getting wiped, which might be a common thing in platinum lobbies, by the way, where lobbies tend to stay really, really healthy. So you've just got to be really strategic with your decision making. So minus 21 SR. We got a bunch of people pushing in. Here is where it begins. Ready? Here's number one. Gets an assist on that guy. Literally hit him with one bullet. There's the kill confirmed. There's the assist. One bullet on that guy. He gets an assist and he's going to be able to get top 12 placement. So literally plays high ground in a matter of five seconds. He just went from minus 21 SR to plus nine SR. Really good kind of sequence right there. He's able to get it down with the PA. Going to go ahead. We're going to see one more enemy pushing across here. Really good team shot by this squad right there. And just like that, he's at plus 19. It's at plus 40 SR in a matter of 10 seconds. Just because, why? Why? They were in the action. Now, this is the problem with, with people in platinum lobbies. They didn't push this situation. They just happen to be high ground. And they just happen to have two teams run in front of them. Like, they just happen to be in a really good spot. Control is the biggest thing that you struggle with. Now, be very careful because... I'm going to tell you to pop UAVs, which they're going to do here in a second. I'm going to tell you to get portable radars, but be strategic how you push. Don't full send teams. Now, right here, because this is also what happens to a lot of you. You get information and you completely ignore it. Now, I don't blame these guys for looting up. Go get looted. Go get your plates. Go get your cash. Tempered vest right there. By the way, I am still team quick fix. If you're subscribed, you know this. I think quick fix is better. I can talk about that in a second on why. Don't let me forget. I'm not doing this live, but don't let me forget. Now, he's going to go push up. Now, what do we miss in this moment here? Two things that we miss. Number one, we have enemies up top here, okay? So they've replaced us. They're now high ground. We also have enemies here. And if you know the map well, these guys have a really good line of sight to this buy station, okay? And obviously, these guys have a really good line of sight all the way across this way. Obviously, there's a big wall right here, but really good line of sight from both of those teams. Watch what happens. We get spotted. We get high alerted. Obviously going to get shot from that side. Really good job playing cover right here. Let's go ahead and get out of it. Now, we've got to worry about the team to our left side here. That's top tower. Good job using smokes for cover. Although, notice he doesn't actually use it. Just sit in it. Just sit in this smoke. Literally, just sit in the smoke. 
I don't care if you don't know that there's a team up top here, right? I 100% know that he missed and did not see this right here. Just sit in the smoke. That's why you threw it. You threw it to create a line of sight or break the line of sight between you and the team that was on your level, but also use it to play it up. Now there's smoke right here. He's going to go ahead and work his way up. So this is a great example. He is going to get his self revive off here, but this is a great example of, yeah, you've got to be careful because you guys also struggle with using the information to your advantage. So not only do we want to be getting information we want to be very cognizant of what's going on around us taking in information how many teams and at the very least the information increases your awareness right it, it decreases your ability to get third party to get shot from a random angle unless you are missing that information notice we're at 19 here three kills you don't need a lot of kills to go a ton positive in platinum so we absolutely want to keep focusing on that and notice there's still 10 teams left here so we're not at the top eight placement yet we're just going to kind of chill right here. We're low ground. We don't want we don't really want to be low ground. I'd be really tempted to go push up top here into town and be a little bit more strategic. We've got a ton of cash flow at this moment. We've got this most wanted who's probably floating down below us. Yep, probably floating down below us. Notice Wave Hall gets a down right there. Going to go ahead and get the thirst potentially and I think we do get the plus 3 SR because we're still at that initial kill assist, you know, kill by squad mate SR kind of level. Still not at that top 8 point yet. And I'm not saying you should you should not be paying attention to top eight guys. Don't be paying attention to it unless you're last alive and like you just need to focus on that. But either way, you shouldn't really be paying attention to that too much. Now, look at circle pull here, guys. This is one where we absolutely have to rotate this early. We've got to get up top. What was that arrow? We've got to get up top here. We've got to get in circle with cover, then power position. Really focus on that right there. Unfortunately, doesn't hit any shots, so only the kill by squad mate. He missed out on two SR there just because he missed some shots, but not a big deal. We've got 25 SR, 13 grand. 13 grand here. Good job finding cover, trusting that high alert. We obviously know these guys are up the hill. Good shots right there. Can't quite get the down at that moment, so we're going to PA. Totally okay with that PA. Obviously, it's not going to do a whole lot here, but it would allow us to rotate, try to find a slightly different angle right here because they're going to obviously move away from that spot. I'd be really tempted to save that until you get it down, though. If you can get it down, though, and full kill somebody with that PA, it would have been a much better use of it. Still not at top eight. And I keep going back to that just because of the placement component and we get more kills in SR, but it's important to understand how many teams are left right here. By the way, in that situation, he gets one tag. If this guy dies flying out of the sky, he gets an assist for it. So always try to shoot the people out of the sky. You're probably not going to get it down for it. But if you do tag the guy at all and that guy ends up dying before replating, you get an assist for it and we'll take the SR. Even if it's not your teammate that gets the kill, even if it's another enemy that gets the kill, you still get SR for it. Tough rotation right here. We are holding onto a muni box. Good shots right there. Does get the down himself, which means he gets the kill. And he gets... Actually, did he not? He's going to get the full kill here in a second. So he is going to get the kill. But regardless, he's he would have gotten the assist for that. He would have gotten the plus 5 SR. Throws on the gas mask. There's the elimination. So we're at 30 thus far here. Still haven't really gotten into the placement yet. Remember, placement is top 8, top 5, top 3, and then winner. There's your top 8. And just like that, we're up to 50 SR here. Really good game overall so far. We kind of feel like the pacing has increased a little bit just because of, you know, they were in the action for the mid game, which is really what you want to focus on uh, in terms of platinum and regaining well, of course, which is one of the toughest things. Kill by squad mate for 55. One back below this way. Really good shots with the MTZ. Gets a kill right there for kill number five. We get plus seven at this point because of the increased SR because we're, we're in that four to eight teams left. So we're at 62 right here. And we're basically one team off of the next amount of placement points. When we look at circle pool here in a second, remember what I always say, guys. In circle with cover, then power position. One thing that I will, I will always, always say, guys, is if you possibly can, you know, we have a gas mask. We don't want to burn it just yet. We go too soon. But we want to try to get we want to try to rotate early whenever possible this house would be a great spot if you can get on top of this rooftop right here you would have a great angle as long as you're strategic because these guys still have high ground on you and could just still shoot down right but if you are just strategic about that being a no down situation meaning whatever you do do not over challenge to the point where you go down you are going to be able to hold all of these enemies that have to rotate in, and this is free SR. But what ends up happening, watch. Watch what happens here. Good job. Always make sure you have smokes for your end game. 
Make sure you're looking at information as well, right? You're going to see a bunch of people shooting on the other side of the map. We don't have an angle to third party anybody here. We don't even have an angle to shoot anybody. Look straight across here. Look at all the fighting on the top of the mini map right here. That would be great to be able to get those kills or at least like get an assist. Remember, all you have to do is put one bullet in somebody who dies and you get the assist for it. You get the SR for it. And a lot of this is about maximizing that SR. It's not about dropping crazy high kill games. It's about strategically maximizing that SR. Kill by squad mate plus five. Notice we have five other teams left here. We got to be really, really careful. Notice the rotation early here, right? Look at where our teammates are. Our teammates aren't in a bad spot right here, but they still want to be on this house. And that's exactly where, that's exactly where conspiracy is going to be. 99. We're up to 99 SR with that right there because of the, he got the kill or he got the, he got, I don't know. What did he get there? What did he get? The, the assist? Yeah, he got the assist, the kill by squad mate, and he got obviously the placement now we're gonna break down this end game even though conspiracy goes down right here so just like i said he plays low ground he gets shot from above now here's the most important thing to understand when it comes to buybacks guys buybacks are not nearly as important as they used to be previously you could not gain sr besides placement sr if you were dead so if your teammate got a kill literally you don't get any sr now, buybacks are not nearly as important. Do I hate the play by Salty here to go for the buyback? I don't. I think it's always an advantage to have your teammates back. But don't be over aggressive trying to do it to the point where you end up going down as well. A little bit unfortunate there. We're going to see Wave Hall go to work here. Notice that Conspiracy at this point is at 125 SR because we have the top three placement. Now, poor Wave Hall right here. In a 1v1v1 situation, we are in business. And in a matter of seconds, we are in a 1v3v1 situation. This is a really, really tough end game. We're going to see him play super patient here now the biggest thing to understand six circle guys is your final circle this thing is closing in on itself you better be really really strategic if you just let this thing close and close and close and close and close you are never going to win this because i i shouldn't say never i, I shouldn't say never i'm going to spoil this he finds a way to win this which is wild because he's in a 1v3 situation right here obviously two of the enemies just flew back in one of them is full strength but I mean, look, just a real, he, he was really strategic about how he played this. Really played patient here. He's going to use his gas mask. He's not going to panic, okay? So he's able to go ahead. He uses a stim to his advantage there. Now he still has time. His gas mask is off. He still has one more stim left here. The only play that he has here is just to kind of hope that he's never going to 1v3 this. He's in gas. He's taking damage. He has no plates. He's never going to win this if he just tries to challenge to 1v3. So he's just got to play patient. This is all he can do. Just wait and wait. And wait. I don't, I don't. And wait. Use your stim. Very good job. The only thing that I will that I will fault conspiracy for here is not calling this out. Guys, you are his second pair of eyes. I don't, I don't. And you're obviously your third teammate should be your third pair of eyes. This right here is two more stims. That you somebody has to calm this out. There's a muni box right here. It would be a little bit tough to get to, but somebody's got to see this muni. One of the three of you has to see this muni box because that buys him so much time in zone. We're gonna go ahead. We're in a 1v2 situation here. 132 SR. I actually lied. This is a 159 SR game. Right there, kill by squad mate gives conspiracy another seven. We're at 139 here, plus the extra 20 SR. So guys. Overall, to go from platinum to diamond, you're going to have to play strategic as a squad. Check the pinned comment for my Discord if you're looking for teammates. Get your loadout early. Really focus on being strategic in that mid game. Strategic aggressiveness. We're going to be pushing teams. We want to be getting information, but do it strategically. If you're last alive, back off, run away, and respawn your teammates. You know, take your 1v1 fights. Play quicker when it comes to acting on that next piece of information. And then make sure you're getting to end game and ultimately in circle with cover, then power position to clutch up the dubs. And sometimes, you know what? You got to make a play. I hope you found today's video helpful. Keep an eye out for the Diamond to Crimson video coming here soon. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.